Hey there, fellow adventurers. Welcome to my channel, where we explore the most extraordinary and jaw-dropping places the world has to offer. Today, we're embarking on an exciting journey to discover the hidden and fascinating corners of a city that needs no introduction. Paris. While the Eiffel Tower and the Louvre might be the first spots that come to mind, there's so much more to this enchanting city. So buckle up and prepare to be amazed. Our first stop takes us deep beneath the bustling streets of Paris, into the mysterious catacombs. This sprawling labyrinth of tunnels and chambers, stretching over 200 miles, houses a chilling sight. The remains of approximately 6 million individuals, their bones artfully arranged, adorn the damp stone walls. These catacombs, originally a limestone quarry, became a mass ossuary in the late 18th century when overcrowded cemeteries plagued the city. As you traverse through the dimly lit corridors, you'll find yourself surrounded by history, silence, and a palpable sense of the past. The catacombs, often referred to as the world's largest grave, offer an eerie yet fascinating journey into the depths of Paris's underbelly. It's a stark reminder of the city's rich and complex history and the transient nature of life. As you resurface, you'll likely feel the chill of the catacombs long after. Talk about a bone-chilling experience. If you're a fan of the bazaar, you simply can't miss the Musée de la Chasse et de la Nature. Nestled in the heart of the Marais district, this museum is an unexpected journey into the world of hunting and nature, a peculiar yet fascinating marriage of the two. It's an absolute treasure trove of curiosities. Imagine walking through ornately decorated rooms, each one filled with a unique collection of taxidermy animals, each one telling a different story. From stags to hawks, the attention to detail is truly breathtaking. And then there are the art installations, each one designed to provoke thought and stir emotions. There's a room dedicated to the wolf, an animal both feared and revered. Intricate hunting weapons adorn the walls, a testament to man's complex relationship with nature. This museum is a place where art meets nature, where the hunter and the hunted coexist. It's a place that will make you question the boundaries between man and nature. Next on our list, we find ourselves at the final resting place of world-renowned figures at the Pierre Lachaise Cemetery. This expansive garden of stone and greenery, tucked away in the city of love, has a hauntingly serene ambiance. The cemetery is a labyrinth of narrow paths, lined with an array of elaborate tombs and memorials that speak volumes of the city's history. Here, amid the silence, you'll find the graves of iconic figures, like the rebellious rock star Jim Morrison, the flamboyant literary genius Oscar Wilde, and the soul-stirring songbird Edith Piaf. Each of their tombs tells a tale, a testament to their lives and the legacies they left behind. The cemetery's architecture is a sight to behold. Gothic tombs, houseman-style vaults and Greek-inspired mausoleums stand as silent witnesses to the passing of time, their intricate designs adding to the cemetery's eerie beauty. The Pierre Lachaise Cemetery is more than just a final resting place. It is a Gothic marvel that pays homage to the city's rich history. Prepare to have your perception of reality challenged at the Maison de l'Infini. This isn't your typical art installation. Instead, it's a journey into the depths of the mind, a symphony of reflections that will make your head spin. Imagine stepping into a world where hallways extend into infinity, where every turn you take leads you deeper into a maze of endless corridors. The trick? Mirrors ingeniously placed to create a visual illusion that feels like you've stepped into a portal to another dimension. It's a dizzying dance of light and reflection, a spectacle that defies the laws of physics and challenges the boundaries of your imagination. As you wander through the labyrinth, you'll find yourself questioning your senses. What's real? What's illusion? In the Maison de l'Infini, the line between the two blurs, leaving you questioning what is real and what is an illusion. Here stands the enigmatic Père Lachaise tree, believed to have healing powers. Nestled in the heart of the famous Père Lachaise Cemetery, this tree is shrouded in mystery and legend. Its gnarled branches and verdant foliage have been witness to countless whispered prayers and hopes. Over the years, it has become a beacon of faith for both locals and travelers alike. It's not uncommon to see the tree adorned with ribbons, fabric and small tokens. This peculiar tradition stems from an age-old belief 
that tying a piece of fabric to the tree can cure ailments and bring good fortune. Some even say it has the power to grant luck in love. But it's not just about the mystical allure. This tree also symbolizes the resilience and spirit of Parisians. Through wars, revolutions, and times of peace, it has stood tall and unwavering. And in doing so, this tree has become a symbol of hope and intrigue for many Parisians. Calling all vampire enthusiasts, uncover the dark and mysterious at Le Musée des Vampires. Nestled in the heart of Paris, this eerie haunt is a sanctuary for all things vampire. From ancient handwritten texts recounting blood-curdling tales, to a collection of vampire hunting kits replete with wooden stakes, holy water, and crucifixes. This museum is a haven for those fascinated by the undead. The atmosphere here is as chilling as the subject matter, with dim flickering lights casting long monstrous shadows that dance on the walls. And let's not forget the life-sized figure of a vampire, looming ominously in a corner, ready to give visitors an unexpected fright. But it's not all about scares. The museum also delves into the cultural significance of vampires, exploring their portrayal in literature, cinema, and folklore from around the world. So, if you're game for a thrilling adventure that's a bit off the beaten path, this one-of-a-kind museum will make your spine tingle. Looking for a spot to express your love? Look no further than the Wall of I Love Yous. Situated in the romantic heart of Paris, this 40-meter-long mural is a testament to the universal language of love. Composed of over 300 languages, the wall is a patchwork of I love yous from all over the globe. From the familiar Je t'aime in French to the exotic Naku Penda in Swahili, every phrase on this wall whispers a sweet symphony of affection. Each I love you carries a story, a sentiment, a heartbeat. It is a place where love transcends borders, cultures, and languages, echoing the unity of human emotions. This wall is not just a canvas of words, but a symbol of unity, a celebration of diversity, and a testament to the power of love. As we stand before it, we are reminded that no matter where we are from, love is a language we all speak. And this wall showcases the universal power of love. Hidden beneath the Hotel de Ville lies an abandoned subway station that once served as a shelter during World War II. It's a relic of a bygone era, a time capsule that harks back to a period of conflict and resilience. This place is steeped in history, a silent witness to the city's past that still echoes through its deserted platforms and darkened tunnels. In its heyday, it was a bustling hub, a lifeline for the city's inhabitants. But when the war came, it took on a new role. A sanctuary in the face of danger, a beacon of hope amidst the chaos. Now, it stands empty, but not forgotten. The station's vintage aesthetics have been preserved, a testament to the city's commitment to honoring its past. The ghostly beauty of the place is palpable. The rusted tracks, the faded signs, the soft, eerie glow of the platform lights, all contribute to an atmosphere that is as haunting as it is fascinating. Although no longer in use, its preserved vintage aesthetics and haunting atmosphere make it a must-visit for urban explorers. Did you know that Paris has its own vineyard? Nestled in the heart of the Montmartre district, the Clos Montmartre vineyard is a hidden gem that adds a rustic charm to the city's romantic allure. This is the last active vineyard in Paris, a testament to the city's viticultural history that dates back to Roman times. The vineyard covers over 1,500 square meters, and is home to approximately 2,000 vines. The delightful mix of grape varieties here, from Gamay to Pinot Noir, adds a unique character to the vineyard's annual yield. Every October, the grape harvest transforms the vineyard into a lively festival, complete with music, dancing, and of course, wine tasting. While the vineyard isn't open to the public daily, special tours are organized to give visitors an inside look into the winemaking process. This isn't your typical wine tour, it's a journey into Paris's rich history, its love for art, and its enduring spirit of joie de vivre. The vineyard's exquisite location offers a panoramic view of the city. On a clear day, you can see the Eiffel Tower standing tall in the distance, a sight that's sure to take your breath away. Amidst the city's hustle and bustle, the Montmartre vineyard is a serene escape, a place where time seems to stand still. So the next time you're in Paris, why not trade the crowded cafes for a stroll in the vineyard? After all, this unexpected piece of agricultural wonder offers a serene escape from the city's hustle and bustle.